Hey everybody, so I'm here to show you guys how to install the A70 heatsink by Corsair. Uh, if you pretty much open the box, the um, instruction is pretty much, might as well be written in Chinese. It's complete gibberish and it's not very informative. So I guess the first thing is uh, what, what tools you'll need. Um, you'll basically need some rubbing alcohol and that is if you already have an existing system uh, you'd want to use that as well as a lint free cloth to remove any residual uh, thermal paste from the system. And you also need a Phillips screwdriver. That's pretty much it. So, as you can see, I've already removed the um, existing OEM heatsink. Here's the uh, size comparison between the OEM heatsink and the Corsair one. It's about four times as large and it comes with dual fans and here are the connection points versus the old heatsink which only has that much of surface area the coarse hair has much more points of contact My one recommendation is to install this when you first build your computer, otherwise you have to take everything apart again like I did and pretty much unscrew everything because you need to get at the bottom of your motherboard and to install the X bracket. First you'd want to do is install this bracket. You'd want to slide the bracket through here and then use the four screws to mount this onto the heatsink. This pretty much here is later on used to screw in the X bracket onto your motherboard. Okay, I finally got these screws in place and um, unfortunately as you can see they, they don't screw in quite very well. Uh, there's a lot of wiggle room. You see there. But I didn't want to risk stripping these screws so I think I think it'll be okay because once the four other screws are mounted on, this will be locked down pretty tightly. Some don't have to worry about wobble. The next step should be pretty straightforward. Uh, once you put the rubber mounts in place, you're gonna get ready to take your motherboard off and place it in the four holes surrounding your CPU. So I have an ACES motherboard and uh, for the uh, i5 chipset at least you'd have to bring these in pretty much by one notch so it will fit correctly into the um, back of the CPU. Uh, by default they're pretty much come fully extended and uh, that won't quite fit. Okay once I've got the mounting bracket behind the motherboard, uh, everything's in place. Uh, all four pillars are ready. They're pretty much loose but we're gonna screw them down later. If you notice my uh, CPU is pretty much wiped clean with the alcohol and the uh, cloth. We want to get rid of every single trace of the original thermal paste. Um, we want to get a good clean connection. So here's the tricky part. Which fans to place where? Um, Pretty much if you didn't know any better and the instructions really don't say, you just kind of plop them on and pray for the best. But there actually is a uh, specific spot for these fans. And if you noticed, there's going to be arrows here, which mean air, air is going to flow in. And same with this one here, if you notice the arrow is flowing to my left, air is going to flow out. So we want this curved side so there's an air pocket so air can flow in and on this side where it's pretty much pointed out we want the air to flow out. So this is where the vent's going to be. And again for a more simple solution the side with the Corsair logo is where air is going to flow. So in this case, the Corsair logo is inside, so we want the air to flow in this direction. Uh, we're not going to face put the fans on until after we mount the heatsink, but that's 
pretty much the direction you'd want to install them once the heat sinks in place. Okay, so I decided to mount it in this configuration. If you notice, the arrow is pretty much where the air is going to go out of, and this is going to be my uh, fan that vents the air out. And it's going to be pulling air in from this direction, which is where I'm going to have a fan pushing some air in here. Notice it's going to be a tight fit. Um, if you ever need to add more RAM, you know, you're going to have to remove the fans, but that shouldn't be a problem. And uh, once I've pretty much done a dry run, I'm going to get ready to prep the thermal paste. So here it is. Now the first time I installed thermal paste, I really had no idea what I was doing. Um, I haven't built a computer for like six years. So I kind of just spread it around and didn't know any better. Um, but what you really want to do is dabble a small drop right into the center of the CPU. Once you have that small drop, there's no need to spread it because that actually causes air bubbles. Uh, when the small drop is in place, you're going to want to mount the fan, but we want to be sure we take off that giant warning sticker first. And once we mount it, we want to pretty much spread it around a bit this way and then screw it in. So I'm going to prep that in a second. As you can see, I'm adding a small drop right to the center of the CPU. Um, you don't want to add too much as it's going to spread out and get all of your components. Okay, all four screws are in place. Now you want to actually tighten them all the way down so they don't go anymore. Um, it's kind of scary because you're not sure if you're going to break or bend the frame, but pretty much you'll know when you hit the point where you need to stop. So there you have it. Everything's installed. Uh, as you can see, it takes up a lot of room now. But uh, the good news is these fans come off very easily, so if you need to move around, it should be pretty simple. Uh, everything's in place. The only spare parts you're going to have is these two guys which is the rubber mounts for the fans I guess in case they wear out but I don't think so I mean I guess they're there just in case and a mounting bracket for AMD sockets which I could care less about because I have an Intel and um, I think that's pretty much it thank you very much I hope this helps 